Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age teams against each other. And you, that's right, you vote for the characters on our team. This week, we have Civil War Summer OP Kit versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the debut set for the Turtles in Hero Clicks. So Simeon is building out of Civil War. I am building out of TMNT. Simeon, what is on your team, my man? Yeah, for Team Civil War. And I was just looking back at these they had some really crazy good sculpts in this set um so starting off the team we've got good old bullseye he came in with two votes so he must do something good he's got i never miss special improved targeting he ignores characters hindering and may make a ranged combat attack against opposing characters that are within range and line of fire even if they are in an adjacent square so he targets out of adjacency as well um Kind of like an old school sharpshooter, except a little bit better. Uh, he's also got the justice like lightning trait. This is better than the Captain America ones, though, because it's after actions resolve where he dealt damage to one or more opposing characters with an attack. I roll a d6, and on a five through six, I remove an action token from a friendly character with the Thunderbolts keyword within four squares. So that is himself. I don't think I've got any other Thunderbolts. Maybe Yellow Jacket, but. Um, I'm saying it's better than the Captain America one because I don't have to be on a theme team, which I'm not. He's got range combat expert, six range, or not, uh, he does have range combat expert later dial, but starts off with precision strike, running shot, uh, willpower. He also has, uh, when bullseye damages an opposing character with an attack, I get a placed a marked token on them, and then I can remove the marked token from that character to increase damage dealt when I attack them again. Um, so it's kind of neat i guess um sadly there's no way to get like multiple marked tokens on anybody and then he has a special speed that is later in dial and that's sidestep stealth so just kind of a pretty solid little ranged dude not heavy on the damage but other than that he's pretty sweet mm. and another mm. range dude got six range two lightning bolts spider-man ally team ability 80 points Good old Punisher. He's got two traits, a lot of traits in this set. Um, first one is at the beginning of the game, he gets three ammo tokens on this card. When he KOs an opposing character, he gets another ammo token. And then he's got a couple ways to use those ammo tokens. He's got empty the clip, which when I target one or more characters with a ranged attack, I can remove one or more ammo tokens. And then those ammo tokens basically become an extra dice for my attack roll. So... When I start off the game, I've got three. I can potentially roll five dice with like an, a single attack right away. Um, it'd be silly to, but I can. And then Ooh. in addition to that, he has a special attack power that is give him a power action, remove an ammo token to make a ranged attack, then make another ranged attack. It also says it doesn't activate damage depletion modifier, but that's no longer a thing anyhow. So... Uh, it wouldn't do that either way, but it's basically like a ranged flurry, and that's kind of cool. Um, he also starts off with willpower top dial. Both of these guys, 17 willpower, which isn't amazing for their point values, that they just have only willpower. But, um, you know, they're pretty solid ranged attackers, so hopefully they don't get punked too early on. Uh, this guy got two votes. I've played against him, never played with him, and that's is the L.E. Namor. He was one of the prizes from this set uh, that you could choose from. He has a single trait, King of Atlantis. Other friendly characters with the Atlantis keyword modify their attack value by plus one, and he can use leadership. He has a starting attack power for his first three clicks, Imperious Rex. Give Namor a power action to place adjacent an Atlantean warrior bystander or... Give him a double power action and place adjacent two Atlantean warrior bystanders. You may not use this power if there are more than four Atlantean warrior bystanders on your force. So I can technically get six mm. because when I get to four on my force, then I can do a double power action and use like the double power action to bring in two. I just can't use any of that if I have more than four. So as long as I only have four, I can still do that, but... Um, the Atlantean bystanders, they have a trait that gives them the Atlantis keyword, so they'll get a plus one attack value right away. Uh, their move actions don't count against my action total, uh, so that's both really cool things. Um, they all have the dolphin symbol, Namor included. Uh, 
Namor and the Atlantean warriors have close combat expert. Um, Namor doesn't get the plus one to attack from his own trait, but other than that, he's a pretty solid little guy uh, until he loses that ability to bring in his bystanders. Uh, next up, we've got the Taskmaster. If you played any of this set, you should know who this guy is because he was one of the better figures in it, in my opinion. Um, he's got a trait. I took out the Avengers once, most of them. When... Or you give Taskmaster a free action and choose one of his combat values that is lower than the same combat value on an adjacent one adjacent opposing character. You modify his chosen combat value by plus one until your next turn or until the dial is clicked. So if their attack is an 11, you can bump yours up by one. Or if their attack is a 12, same thing. Uh, he also has the Master of All Moves. At the beginning of your turn, you may turn Taskmaster's dial to another click. If you do, at the end of your turn, return him to the click he began the turn on. So, of course, as you can see, he's got a lot of mobility clicks. He's got a lot of attack and ways to damage characters. He's also got some support clicks. He's got a perplex and an outwit along with his uh, enhancement randomly thrown in there. And uh, Battle Fury to get rid of shape change, potentially. So uh, He also has the Minions of Doom mm. team ability. So that's the only one that good old Punisher will be able to copy. But yeah, he's a pretty solid 80 points. And then last but not least, this guy also got a lot of play from what I saw. Uh, Yellow Jacket for 60 points. He's got Hidden Agenda. When a friendly character is KO'd, heal Yellow Jacket one click. He has a special damage power on three out of his five clicks. And that is, he can use Perplex. And when he does choose one yellow jacks can you yellow jacket can use perplex normally or as a unique modifier he may use perplex to target all friendly characters within four squares in line of fire choosing a single combat value to modify which is pretty solid um a four range kind of like burst effect to give everyone plus one speed or defense or attack or damage uh it's pretty solid good old hank pym Is it? Is it, though? Is it Hank Pym? Is it? All right. Well, that is a pretty sweet team from Civil War. This is what I'm going to be rocking. This is my TMNT answer to everything that's going As you went over your figures, I realized a lot of them have just, like, willpower. Um, yeah. And none of mine really do. <laughs> do. Uh, they have, like, straight-up willpower, and then Namor has Indom. But, like, I think it's just the robot. I don't have a lot robot, of reducers, but though. We'll go ahead. Namor is my big reducer. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Uh, starting off, I'll talk about uh, Team NT03, Donatello. Donatello has a trait fighting through the swarm, so when he hits an opposing character after actions resolve, you may place him in any square adjacent to that character, so that's kind of neat. He has a special attack power for his first three clicks. All damage dealt by Donatello causes knockback, and then it gives him giant reach two, so it extends his charge range a little bit, and he's got some outwit top dial, which is pretty cool for Donatello here. Just going to go to the left, to the right here. Leatherhead, uh, 80 points. He's got a trait, don't you hurt Michelangelo, but it doesn't matter because I don't have anyone named Michelangelo on my team. So we'll just talk about his death roll that he has. Give Leatherhead a power action to move up to three squares using improved movement ignores characters. After actions resolve, make a close attack that targets each opposing character occupying or adjacent to those squares. Hit characters are dealt two damage and then knocked back two squares. So it's like this moving quake that he can like target yeah. from three different squares, which is really really cool. Yeah, it's like a and he's got uh, he's got battle fury and stuff, what, which is that neat would be too. Starting three squares, uh, you could potentially quake. Let's see, other than his own, that's two, five, eight yeah. squares potentially. No, it'd have to be it'd be like yeah. seven squares if your opponent was positioned really poorly that you could uh activate that on yeah so i dig it i think that's pretty cool he's uh you know it's a little beefy he's got nice defense next up the rat king this was uh a lot of votes for the rat king for whatever reason i don't get it full dial of stealth improved movement ignores hindering terrain my factory is my kingdom my chimney my citadel <laughs> okay buddy all right so sad all fear me Except the rats. All right. At the beginning of your turn, if Rat King occupies or is adjacent to hindering terrain, place a giant rat 
bystander if there are four or if there are less than four on the map. So unlike unlike Simeon, once I get four, that's it. I cannot make I cannot sneaky sneaky make more yeah. than that using this trait. Says more than four. Second, it says less yeah. than four. <laughs> Exactly. So sad. Once again, rats versus Atlanteans. The rats always get the this the short end of the stick. All right. Uh, strange spectral guy. This is second trait. When Rat King is KO, you may equip him to a friendly character with the animal keyword. The equipped character can use probability control. If the equipped character is named Splinter, he can use regeneration. So that's kind of neat. Like even if Rat King dies, and he's got a deep dial too for sixty five points with regen. So yeah, that can happen. And then his special attack power on his last two click is the Rat Trap. Give Rat King a power action once per game and choose an opposing character than four squares in line of fire. Place up to four giant rat bystanders adjacent to that character. So now this doesn't work off that other trait. So I can just make four giant rats yeah. and just swarm them. It's pretty cool. So what do the rats do? We're it's really cool rat based. Sneak all these powers. Yeah. I also want to so, say Rat Trap was the worst character on Beast Wars. Okay, well, no one knows what that is. Please don't. Please don't. Don't talk about these terrible cartoons. <laughs> uh, the rats are three speed sidestep, eight attack, 15 defense, one damage, with a special damage power, which is swarm of rats. 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 We're the rats. All right. If giant rat is adjacent to one or more friendly bystanders named giant rat, modify its damage value by plus one. If it's adjacent to two or more friendly, uh, two or more of them, also modify its attack value by plus one. So, uh, so what is this? Oh, uh, just one or more. Yeah. So one or more. So sadly, that means they can only ever be a nine for two at their highest uh, combat value. It doesn't stack for each rat that's there. I said rat so many times. Let's move on to a different rat, shall we? Splinter, Master Splinter here. He's got one trait, very simple. Uh, I've taught you all that I learned. Splinter can use Empower, Unique Modifier, Adjacent Friendly Characters, the TMNT keyword, Modify Their Attack Value, plus one. So he'll only be able to do that with Donatello. But that's just the way it is. Moving on to a non-animal at all, Metalhead here, this robotic turtle thing. He His dial is not impressive <laughs> at all, in like the least, for a 100-point character. But he has a trait. I built him, and I have the remote. At the beginning of your turn, you may remove an action token from Metalhead and give an action token to an adjacent friendly character named Donatello. So Donatello has to be next to him for this to work, but it can keep Metalhead moving, which is cool. Metalhead even has Indom. So that's that's neat. He's definitely got the highest damage on your team so far. That four on he does. click two. The four on click two, that push to click two, running shot. I am a little worried about his down dial, uh, though. It is very rough. Yikes, it's very rough. And last, but certainly not least, maybe he is the least as far as synergy goes. We have Baxter Stockman, you know, some shape change, super senses, some sidestep energy explosion with that amazing four range of his. He has a trait which won't be useful. It is he can carry up to four tiny damage symbol characters. Don't have any of those on my team. And then on click two and three, he has uh, outwit and perplex, but only to target the same opposing character. Very interesting. Very I was weird. Looking to see if your rats were tiny but they're not they're giant rats they they're aren't they're giant rats simian they're giant characters. i don't know even if a rat is a giant like how big does it have to be to be considered standard if like a duck is considered tiny in hero clicks right that's true yeah even a giant rat would be a like duck-sized rat size. would be a pretty giant rat to me just I saying mean, like a dog like crypto or cosmo dog right. like all of those are those are tiny uh, are they i don't know so, but they're they're definitely smaller. They they're are. small as a giant rat, I would hope. In scale. All right. So yes, all right. Called I won map, maps. So, I put us on the sewer. Yeah, the good old sewers team and T map. Um. Yeah, I think I'm glad with like the pieces that you got because I was expecting like the full chase turtle team, and I think that team would have destroyed anything that I could do. Um, but luckily, with Taskmaster being similar to Shredder, this might actually be a pretty interesting game. Well, being similar to Shredder? Yeah, really? swords, face mask oh. thing. Uh, okay, I was like, 
in what way is his dial anything like they're Shredder's? Both, but okay, I they're both that. kind of taskmasters in their own right. Shredder they giving have hoods. tasks they to people. Hoods. That's true. Yeah, Capes. Yeah. Does Shredder have a tape? All right. Well, at the beginning of my turn, because the Rat King is next to Hindering Train, I will make a rat. I'll sidestep that rat. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> There's no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no piece of hindering terrain that I can move the Rat King into within seven squares of where he is. Six, seven. He can get next to it, but he can't get into it. One, two, three, four, seven. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he can only get here. Ugh. Well, I want it. I want him to move up. So, we'll waste. This is a four hundred point game, by the way, guys. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a. <laughs> I can't do anything to you, anyhow. I was about to say, like, if no. you really have the reach to do that, I'll be I impressed. I mean, go for it. Think so. Maybe Taskmaster, but I doubt it because he doesn't have the range. That's the problem. I don't have high range. We're moving into the part of Hero Clicks where. They really started reining in the like ten and twelve range, except for very specific characters. So, as you like can see, my bullseye is not like the web of Spider-Man bullseye. He has six range as opposed to like the uh, ten range that that one has. I believe. Um, is that bullseye? Am I thinking of the right one? I'm pretty sure that's bullseye and web of Spider-Man that I'm thinking of. But yeah, yeah, both has got that ten range. Um, these these next couple sets that you'll be seeing, they really the point formula got real weird for a while before it like kind of leveled off around like ADW, and the range gets really reined in. Um, the traits started just like spilling out all over the place on everybody. It's a wild time for hero clicks. Okay, it is your go with all those moves and everything out of the way. Okay, let me grab my dice real quick. I'm not sure if I'll be needing them just yet. Let's see. We've got a sidestep to there. Burning shot. One, two, six. Huh. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Huh. No, I can't get there. Uh, so we will just I was about to say, Punisher more. actually have no. no, he doesn't have running shot at all. Making me worried. Um, Making me worried. I'm like, what have I done? I'm going to sidestep Namor. Sidestep Bullseye. Sidestep Taskmaster. Eh, I'm going to wait to sidestep him. Let's see. Taskmaster's wording is beginning of my turn. I would have to pick something. Uh, I think I'm fine keeping him on... Oh, he's supposed to be on a stealth click. He's not supposed to be on... Oh, it is stealth. I just read it wrong. He doesn't have sidestep. That's stealth. I just couldn't see it because it's black. Also, Bullseye has running shot top dial, so that's definitely two miscalculations there. Um, so Bullseye will move... Let's see. One, two, three, four... Five. Yeah, we'll go there. No, uh, we want to go here next to Namor, just to potentially, potentially get a leadership off. And I think Taskmaster is gonna wait for a second. We'll sidestep Punisher one two, sidestep Yellow Jacket two, and then Taskmaster will move one two three four five six. Seven. We'll move there. Let's see. Yellow Jacket will perplex up everybody's defense that he can see. It's an action for Taskmaster. And then I'm going to give little Namor a double power action. So that's three actions towards my total. To spawn in these two Atlantean warriors. Their actions don't count towards my mm. action total, so they're going to move their full speed, which is eight. They're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
They're going to go march on down to the end of the sewer there. Mm. And Taskmaster will... He'll perplex up this this closest Atlantean. And that is my go <laughs> okay. turn. All right, sounds good. Beginning of turn, I cannot make a rat. I'm not in or next to Henry Train. And I can roll leadership. I don't think it'll do anything, though, because I don't sure cure of those guys. Right, Splinter? Animal martial artist. Bash Stockman is a monster, not an animal. All right, cool. So, yeah. Let's see. Where do you want to go? Well, we're going to push the rat man. Go over here. I'll sidestep this rat. Ching. Rat king. Sorry, you're not a man. You are but a king. King, 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 king. All right, cool. So let's have metalheads sidestep. One, two. He'll bring Donnie along, like always. Let's have Baxter sidestep. One, two. We'll slap. Splinter there. And then let's have Leatherhead move here. Do -do -do -do. That for Leatherhead. Then we're going to clear Baxter Stockman. Clear Metalhead. Clear this rat. And do we have any perplexes? I don't think we do. No, we do not. So it is your turn, Simeon. All right. The ever important Namor leadership. That'll be a. A five. Ooh. Ooh. That'll be important. I don't think it's a special one. I'm, yeah, I'm 100% positive it's just normal leadership. So uh, we'll take that off of the only guy next to him, which is Bullseye. Which maybe I make an attack with Bullseye now. Uh, let's see. I can go one, two, three, four squares. And then from four squares, I can shoot six. It's kind of depressing me that... This bullseye is only shooting six away. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Not really. I'm not really getting anywhere with that, am I? Huh. Well. I guess I could perplex up range twice. One, two, three. Or speed once and range once. So I could go two, four, five squares to there, and then shoot two, four, six, seven. Be a lot of, lot of reach to shoot at old uh, Leatherface. Is that what his name is? Leatherface. Uh, leather, leather head. Excuse you. Oh, it's, sorry, it's the sorry. entire face, the whole head. We have both a metal head and a leather head on the, um, on the team. So I do have precision strike. Uh, if I manage to deal damage, which is a pretty easy roll, I think. Only need a six. If I manage to deal damage, uh, I potentially take an action token off of myself. And let's see. I can put a marked token on him. So those are options. Forgot to check if I think Taskmaster has Thunderbolt, so Justice Like Lightning will work with Taskmaster, and that's it. Um, beginning of my turn, would Taskmaster be better suited to do a running shot? Because, yeah, leadership happens at the beginning of your turn, so he can go eight square or so four plus five so he can go let's see there 
shoot one two three four five he also can't get there and i don't have enough perplex to really make this happen so what we're really going to do after all this time trying to figure out things is mm. yellow jacket's going to once again perplex up everybody's defense um I think Punisher is going to sidestep to right behind Taskmaster there. Namor is going to sidestep a little bit further up in the water. We will sidestep Yellow Jacket one square to there. And just so that my... Uh, yeah, I didn't move him. So one thing that you have to be careful with Taskmaster... This is what I, I kind of almost just did is if you don't pick to move to a different a, a different click at the beginning of the turn and then you push him, he just takes that damage and ends up on that click for the rest of the game until you like do something else that damages him. So if I were to push him now, he would go to click two. But if I, at the beginning of my turn, I would have put him on click five and then pushed him, he would actually go back to click one at the end of the turn. So... He's not doing anything this turn because I forgot about that. Mm. So uh, I think, yeah, everyone's defense is up except the Atlantean Warriors. Uh, I think Bullseye is going to move over to here. That seems like a better mm. place for him to be. Mm. Give him a red token because that was this turn. Interesting. Interesting. All my other guys. And that is my turn. So I've got two Swamp Boys All right. approaching on Calder's territory at the moment. But he's got a big... Beginning swamp. of the turn, I get to make a rat. Hmm. Huzzah! Um, also, I can choose the whole token thing. Not going to do that. Leadership doesn't matter, so yeah. Sidestep metalhead. Um, well, first with this rat, I'm gonna sidestep this rat to here. Sidestep metalhead to here. Placing Donatello there. And then well, place him here. One, two, three, five, six. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Sidestep Baxter Stockman to here. Placing Splinter there. Hmm. Well, let's move this rat. One, two, three. No sidestep. To there. And let's see. <laughs> we'll clear the Rat King. Mm. And then clear Leatherhead. And we'll say it is your go. Okay. My Atlantean Warriors can move four with their charge, so I can go one, two, three, four. I could actually get two metal head at this point in time. Uh, that's probably worth it since they don't cost any points. They're only doing two damage though. That's the real kicker. Uh, kinda wish I had some exploit on them instead of this close combat expert. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Very interesting. We will start with rolling Namor's leadership. That does not matter at this time. Ah, good. Got the two out of the way, though. Uh, let's see if I want to turn Taskmaster to anything else. Outwit might be worth it this turn. I'd have to... Yeah, mm. I'd have to power action to move somewhere so that I could see somebody. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 
Yes, that is an option. Um, I just don't have great defenses on this team. It really, really hurts. Uh, let's see here. I think you're getting a little too rat happy up in the area. So I'm going to double power action Namor again. Oh, to make a second pair of Atlanteans. Uh, they'll they'll start adjacent to him, and then as two actions that don't count against my action total, I will move them over to here. Which might be a flaw in my plan. I could probably do something different, but that's fine. We will sidestep yellow jacket to there. Yeah, I already think I did this kind of out of order. Uh, let's sidestep yellow jacket there. I'm kind of trusting in my range over Calder's reach right now. So we'll sidestep Punisher there. Um, we will have yellow jacket perplex up everyone's defense that he can see, which is Namor, Taskmaster, Punisher, and I think all friendly characters. So also the two Atlantean warriors that I just dropped down. Um, let's, yeah, we're just going to have, so the move actions don't count towards my action total, but regular actions do. So action hey. two is going to be this Atlantean warrior charging one, two, three, four, actually, this one's got to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll have this one charge just to right there. And he's going to try and punch the mm. rat. So he, of course, has a yeah. 10 attack because right. he has the Atlantean keyer. Is it Atlantis? Right. To my rats, 15. Yeah, Atlantis keyword. So as long as I don't crit miss, I feel comfortable with whatever happens. Oh, that was a bad roll. And that's not much better than mm. this. Mm. Um, so then I'll have this one charge one, two, three, four. He'll go to there. And that'll be action number three. Also attacking the giant rat. Uh, an 18 or a 17. And will that one will kill the giant rat? Yes, yes. So let's see. I've used my yellow jacket perplex. Um, would it be worth it to shoot at Metalhead? Go one, one, two. And shoot one two one two three four five six yeah he's got willpower so we'll go ahead and running shot with bullseye ignoring characters as i do mm. and we'll shoot mm. at the <laughs> metal head six squares away okay so that'll be a 12 to your 18 with precision strike against your impervious okay so you just need a six that was an awful roll. I'm a set down. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll get it to land on the map instead of in front of the map. There you uh, go. That's better. A 16. <laughs> oh that my gosh. Um, that that will that will somehow miss. I'll move my taskmaster to here. And let's see, that's one, two, three, four. No, I will not. That's four action. Oh, wait, yeah, I've got five. It's a 400 point game plus leadership. So I'll move 400 point game. Here. You're good. He will perplex up Bullseye. Yeah, Bullseye's defense. I feel, I feel okay with that. That's, it's not amazing, but, uh, 
Oh, and then Namor is going to sidestep again. Since I see sidestep turn one, sidestep turn two. Yeah, turn three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, new turn. I make a rat. Rats. Rats. We the rats. All right. And then we got an Atlantean warrior in our way. What does he do? Charge. All right. Try to sidestep, break away with the with uh, with metalhead here. Ah. Didn't work. Probably should have just killed him first. But uh, here we are. One, Don't two. be too confident. They have 18s for close attacks. They have 18s for close attacks. That's well, I may be a somewhat close based person here. That's true. Sidestepping one, two. I think we sidestep here with Baxter Stockman, and he targets the Atlantean with energy explosion. Mm. So it is a 10 to Just your 16s. Crit hit and deal damage to your metal hit. That would be... I would feel pretty dumb. Um, but that is a great roll. Wow, nice. Yeah, good job, Baxter. Good Those two will both remove action tokens. Yeah. Yeah. And also die. How nice. How quaint. All right. So it's the first one. Wasted or sidestep. It's all right. Metal Hike can still see that guy. Um. Yeah. One, two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Let's have Metalhead take a shot at Bullseye. Ten. Oh, I see how it is. Okay. He has an eighteen. So, uh, whatever. Perplex. Gotcha. Need eight. Ah, Razmataz missed by one. It's all right. Two actions here. We're going to sidestep old Splinter to here. One, two, three, four. We got to be there, so we're going to have to move Splinter. Move Splinter to there. So we actually won't sidestep. We'll just straight up move him to there first. Hmm. And we're going to have Donatello charge. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Targeting. Oh, not there. There. Targeting Bullseye will be an 11 for 3 because of Splinter's Empower and plus 1 attack to TMNT keyworded fools like Donnie. So now we need that 7. Ah, ah yes, a 4. Very nice. So now we can outwit things, though. I don't know who Donatello can see. Him. We can see these fools. So we'll probably outwit Taskmaster. We'll probably get rid of Taskmasters. Uh, let's say which one of these powers is like the worst one for us. Let's say he's penetrating Psychic Blast. We'll say he can't use Pen Blast. Okay. No, even even better than that though. Let's probably just say he can't use Char or Running Shot, Running Shot at all for Taskmaster. Okay. On Donatello. So that's one, two, three actions so far. Four actions, actually. Sidestep with Leatherhead. Um, sidestep with this rat. Sidestep with this rat. This rat, one, two, three. This rat, one, two. Just move that rat right there for now. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Actions right there with that rat being our last one. And then we'll clear this rat. We'll say it is your go. Not a great turn. Not a great turn. All right. But it is where it's where we're at. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Not in love with my options here, but 
Uh, we will roll for leadership with Namor. That is a six, so I will remove my one and only token that I can, and that is from Taskmaster, which actually does change what I was going to do. Um, of course, uh, Punisher is going to be copying the Minions of Doom team ability for the entire game, as long as I am able to do that, because that's the only team ability that I have, other than the Spider-Man family, or Spider-Man ally team ability. So, let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to unleash good old Frank Castle on Calder. I don't think that he was prepared for Frank mm. Castle, and I'm just going to mm. bang him up with that. Um, so I No one's prepared for Frank. Yeah, I have the potential to give myself a 12 for 4. Uh, I can then do my double ranged action which probably wouldn't be amazing but it's something i can potentially do uh i can't make any more atlantean warriors this turn and i don't really want to push the ones i have i do want to at the very least keep bullseye somewhat protected so he's gonna die he's gonna die Boy, he gonna die. Donatello has an 18. If I want to burn yes. two of my... Yeah, if I want to burn two of my uh, ammo tokens, I can do the double attack with a triple roll on one of them. Which I might do, because this team doesn't have any prob. I don't know. I kind of want my perplex, but I also like to outwit something uh so taskmaster is going to end up staying on the click he's on i think that's the yeah. best bet we are going to find a way to position i think i'll sidestep namor here and i'll move taskmaster there and then Yellow Jacket will sidestep one, two. So now he can see the two people adjacent to him as well as those three. And he will perplex up defenses. So that is a move action for good old Taskmaster. Needing sevens isn't amazing. You only have toughness. Mm. So Frank is <coughs> going to... He's going to get his attack uh, Donatello's an 18 I'll do 2 damage yeah he's going to get his attack perplexed up by Taskmaster okay. and then he's going to sidestep 1, 2 we're going to burn an ammo token to give me a power action to make a ranged attack and then when I target one or more characters with a ranged attack, I can remove one or more ammo tokens to roll two dice. So, uh, let's see. Make a ranged attack, then make another attack. So, we'll burn two of my ammo tokens. One for the power action, one to roll three dice with my first roll. I won't be able to do it for my second roll unless I decide to burn another one, but... Uh, let's see here. He needs an action token for that. There's that action token. So, shooting at... I guess we'll target Donatello and the giant rat. Just in case. Ooh, all right. Somehow, with three dice. Really, really Donatello. with it. Yeah. Now I feel like I should have put my perplex into damage. Because having three dice is silly. All right. They're all a one, though. Nope, that will hit a 13 on the dice and a 12. Yeah. So you hit 25s. Well, How do you I want don't, to deal the I damage have to, to I have to pick only two dice. So I don't oh, never mind. The, well, I don't get the full no. roll. But, um, okay. With a 12, it doesn't really matter which ones I pick. So I'll go with, like, I'll go with the three and the four because that would have mattered anyhow. So 
Um, that'll hit Donatello for three damage. Okay, and then so my, one and two extra toughness. My second attack, I'll only have two dice for this one. I could burn another one, I think, but... You only need a five. Yeah. yeah. That'll do it. So for another mm, three That will damage. do it. Killing it all into the rat, I suppose. No, three to Donatello. Okay. And then I will get an well, that ammo will token KO back. KO on each G here. Uh, let's see. KO is an opposing character. Place an ammo token on this card. So yeah, I get I get two ammo tokens again. Um, so Yellow Jacket double perplexed up everyone's defense that he can see, which included the this Atlantean warrior at the time. This guy moved. Yellow Jacket doesn't have a ton of offense. I'm going to end up clearing uh, both Bullseye and Namor at this point, and also my Atlantean Warriors, because I don't believe that I'll be able to I don't think I'll be able to do a whole lot with them. That'll matter. Okay. Beginning of the turn, I make a rat. I'll roll Splinter's Leadership. See if we can take a token off of a rat. I'm going to take a token off of a rat. Donatello, men, we lost a good soldier. Ben, and I know it's tough, but we, we have to move on, so... Let's go ahead. Let's move some people. Let's sidestep Metalhead. One, two, two there. Let us sidestep the giant rat. One, two, two there. Is that a wall? I don't get. I don't get how these look. They look weird. Are these walls at all in this water terrain? I'm pretty sure not. Or... But. It looks so wonky. Okay. There is like a brown line next to the gray and blue line. Yeah. Those walls. And there's no brown or. Yeah. If there well, like is how a wall, like this looks like a wall. If there is a wall, it's this like last section here. Yeah. It well, could, that for sure is a wall, but this stuff looks like the same stuff right it here. Could very well be an entrance down here and then an exit up here. In which case, yeah, the Taskmaster wouldn't be able to be where he is. But played a little bit wrong. But it's hard. I'm gonna say that it's it's anyway no wall on that one because it seems silly if there is. To be honest, okay, gotcha. But like this is a wall, right? This is a wall. Yeah, this is a wall. This is a wall. Okay. All right. Yeah. Rat moves there. Metalhead moves there. Metalhead is going to try and annihilate Punisher. Is he our biggest threat? No. I guess so. He makes a lot. Of, he makes too many attacks. He makes too many attacks. No. So yeah, we'll try to annihilate Punisher here. See what we can get here. Mm. Is that a we'll hit a 17. Which I assume we'll miss. Yeah. He does not have the team and T ally keyword to get the benefit from Splinter. Uh, no, he has TMNT ally. Splinter gives them, it's only for TMNT. That is the uh, problem. Yeah. Okay, yes. I do yeah. have an 18, so you will miss me by, by one. Which is where gotcha. Yellow Jack is really paying Core. for his 60 points in this match. Sidestep with, you just get my what's his face ready. there? Okay. Yeah, uh, Leatherhead is going to move. Power action is going to move one, two, three. And he's going to attack Bullseye and Punisher. And Atlantean Warrior two, with two, a Quake. Two. And Atlantean Warrior, yeah. Well, not with a Quake. Technically, it's not a Quake. Technically, it is a close attack that targets each opposing character occupying those or adjacent squares, and they're dealt two damage and knocked back two squares, but it's not Quake. <laughs> okay. It's not Quake. They're dealt two damage and knocked back two squares, but it's not Quake. 
All right, he only needs a seven. Anyways, That'll that will hit 19. That will hit 19. So we'll take That's pretty good. one, two. Uh, that'll miss Atlantean Warrior. Wait, 19? That will hit 19. 19, yeah. 19. I rolled an 8. Yeah. I'm going to attack. Um, that'll hit Bullseye as well. He is now on his special speed power, sidestep and stealth. Ooh, interesting. Not really, but mm -hmm. I'll pretend that it is. I'm going to sidestep up Baxter Stockman. Sidestep this rat. Well, actually, move action this rat. <laughs> move him to there. Sidestep this other rat. Move him to there. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the rats. Okay. Oh, that doesn't need two tokens. He only needs one token. All right. And then oh, we'll clear I Splinter. To, I have to break away from your giant rats. I'm not a huge fan of that. I I quite enjoy that. Clear Splinter, clear uh, Baxter Stockman, and it's your go. What the heck? It turned back to orange. What in the world? I will roll to see if I can leadership off of uh, good old Taskmaster. No, I think that's the first leadership I might have failed this turn. Actually, maybe second. I don't know. Uh, this game. Um, you got sidestep stealth with bullseye. I can also just shoot you with bullseye because he does have. Uh, yes. Shooting out of adjacency, so that might be my better bet. And then I. Th think castle can only empty the clip with a ranged attack so he would have to break away to do that um let's see i'd really like to be able to get a ton of line of fire here we could do one action there sidestep one two There. So let's see this guy. One, two. That's not going to help me a whole heck of a lot. Uh, let's see if, before I do anything, let's see if there's a click that Taskmaster would be better on. Maybe Combat Reflexes Charge. Get rid of that rat. <laughs> Maybe an outwit click. Hmm. I think I have an idea of what I want to do. So uh, we are going to move Taskmaster to click two for this turn. Um, okay. Okay. Hank Pym is going to increase the attack value on everyone he can see, which is just my characters and Ooh. not my bystanders. Uh, that seems fine. So attack values are all 11s. Taskmaster is going to charge. No improved movement out of hindering. I don't think I. I don't think I did that quite right then. Uh, let's see. <laughs> No, I don't think so, because he has leap yeah. climb one of his clicks. No, he will not be able to actually attack anybody then. Uh, let's see, he can move two. Simply half of half. One, two. One, two. Hmm. That is not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to run one, two. Wouldn't have been able to do that anyhow, because characters are in the way. Let's see here. One, two. Nope. I will just end up having to move him normal style. That's fine. That might that might work. Uh let's see. No actions taken yet. Attack value is up. Let's go ahead. You don't have to remind me. I'm sitting here waiting for him to be taken. 
give this Atlanian warrior a power action to close combat expert all into attack. So it has a 13. Oh, or baby. 12, 12 on the rats. The rat. 15. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Jeez, That's you one, kill my rat. One dead rat. It seems like a good first turn. Um, let's see. Can I move there? It's one action. Man, I kind of want to just have these Atlantean warriors do stuff for me. I think... I know I won't be able to KO him, so... There's not a ton of use in trying. I lost willpower on two of my guys, so that also sucks. So before I do anything too drastic, we're going to move Taskmaster there. He was going to charge and do an exploit, but uh didn't work out that way. So we're going to move him there. That'll push him to click three, which now he has an enhancement to boost the range on Bullseye. So Bullseye is currently at an 11 for three. He's going to range combat expert something Ooh. into something. Uh, let's see here. I currently need a 7, so yeah, we're going to go 1 and 1, so I'll be a 12 for 4. With okay, Bullseye. got it. Need a need a 6. Oh, there's a... Well, that's a 2, two. and a 5. That will oh, do it. Nice. All the way over two here. Damage. 1, 2 damage on Leatherhead. Okay, what's he got going on now? He is crazier up close. Uh, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, 17. I'd really like to be able to guarantee a breakaway, but I think I have to go for the sure thing. So we will sidestep Namor. 1-2. And then rather than making any Atlantean warriors, uh, yeah, rather than making any Atlantean warriors, he is an 11 for three right now. He's going to close combat expert one and one. So he's a 12 for four. And then he'll need a five. How is he an 11? Uh, from Yellow Jackets Perplex. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. It about that. All of my, all of my. Normal it was so characters. early. Yes. Gotcha. Twelve for four. Uh, need a five. Just one five. Ah. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. That will also hit. Uh, well, shoots. That will hit for four. So five. So four. One, two, three, four. Ah, that was a lot. Okay. Force Blast, Super Strength, Empower. Not loving that click. I was kind of hoping that I would just one-shot him with that turn. Um, there's no follow-up with Yellow Jacket. I could potentially attack with my Atlantean, except he already attacked, so Calder KO'd one of yeah. my Atlanteans last turn. Uh, that is one, two, three, and four actions. My last action will be... Uh, how much do I want Frank to KO somebody? Not that bad, I don't think. So, yeah, that'll just be my whole turn right there. Uh, Taskmaster okay. will go back to click one. Um, but that's at the end of my turn, so I don't get to use Perplex... Let's see. Turn him to the dial began to at the end of your turn. So yeah, at the end of my turn, Taskmaster goes back. And that is my whole turn. Yeah. Dang, I really I was really wow. hoping that that crit hit that I planned uh. on would KO 
Leatherhead. Alas, uh, I make a rat. I roll leadership on the big rat, on the small rats. Son of a gun. Why does Simeon roll his leadership? I don't get to roll mine. It's not fair. That's not fair. No. All right. I think it is uh, rat sacrifice time because the rat is going to have uh, between Leatherheads and Power, Splinters and Power. Oh, no, wait. No. He only has power for. Uh... Never mind. Never mind. Is it no, yeah. For... He has traded in Power. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's in Power. No, no. The plus between one is Splinters only for power, Leatherheads. Yeah. Leatherheads and Power. And then having another rat next to him is going to boost this rat. Let's double check the rat stats here. The rat stats, uh, one or more from the rats. Oh, it's damage plus. It'll be an eight for three. One, two. No, no, no. It'll be eight for four. Yeah, it'll be an eight four. for four. You just need to get one more rat up there. Uh, one, two. And then we go one, two, three. Okay, so first this rat sidesteps to here. And this rat moves up to here. Uh -oh. So they're all next to each other now. So now we got like, we got like two nine for fours. College we got two nine for fours. Pretty low. <laughs> against, against Namor. Rats. Rats. This is where we the rat. Me. Yeah. Uh so first rat, this one. At night. We pray at night. We the rats. Nine for four on Namor. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the rat was gonna die. I forgot die. to specify which crit called it. <laughs> the rat was gonna die anyways. I All right. The crit miss kind, yes. Fair very Darn fair it's... and balanced All right. roles on tabletop simulator, I have to say. Yeah. Seemingly. This rat now only has a uh not eight attack. So it needs a ten on Namor. Still for four, because it's still next to all the people it needs to be next to. Hmm. Really took the gusto. Really took the wind out of my sails with those two actions. <laughs> Darn. To be fair, I was actually Darn. pretty I... terrified. I know Namor would survive, but uh... yeah. Darn. Yeah, that, hmm. I mean those are pretty well, scary rats when you have that much in power. That's um, man, that sucks. That's well, I guess we we got rid of our crit miss for this turn on a rat at the very least. Uh, Bullseye is on click what? Took two damage. Okay. Yeah, so three. Well, let's see if Leatherhead can say it's Sayonara, sucker. We'll sidestep Splinter to there. Give him the empower. I don't think Leatherhead needs it, though. So, yeah. Go ahead, try to smoke Bullseye here. Ah, there's the 11 That'll attack. That'll definitely do it for four. Yes. Do one. Oh, that's... Uh, 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 one, two, three... And that's enough for Bullseye. I think I got I got some use out of Bullseye. He didn't get to do his mark. Yes, you like. certainly did. I might have mm. forgotten to do the uh, Justice Like Lightning, but uh, he definitely got some damage yes. out. So. What a guy. What a smart guy. Let's have Splinter take a swing on Namor. He is an 11 for 3 now. Doesn't really matter. I guess he had precision strike anyways. Hey. Oh, there's crazy high rolls. There you go. Well, I'll deal with a quick one to Namor. Probably is he still an 18? He's still an 18, but his damage dropped by oh, one, so he's only uh -huh. two damage now. And sadly, even on uh, Taskmaster, I have no empower on anybody on this team. That's right, step one, two. With Baxter Stockman's. All right. Baxter Stockman is just going to shoot, shoot Namor. Hmm. Well, we could, I guess, energy explosion, but that would hurt my own guy. We don't want to do that. Hurt. So we're just yeah, going to shoot. Leatherhead more likely than anyone else. Yeah. So we're just going to shoot, shoot Namor here. 10 on 18. Try to get that one damage up. Been rolling pretty hot. Ah, well, shouldn't have said that. Camera but that is one when it was a five two. and a six, so I feel like people might call foul. Yeah, see, that. <laughs> that's what I thought too. Um, but that's the way it is. Uh, that was all five of my actions, so I have to clear metalhead. All right, I do not have a reason to roll leadership with Namor, but I will. 
just because I oh that's the wrong. Here we go. I paid for the power. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, three. Good. <laughs> um. So I kind of like where Namor's at. I could try and sidestep him into the water to get that plus one defense again. Uh, Leatherhead and Splinter don't have plasticity or anything. 50-50 shot. I don't think I'm going to use my sidestep either way, so I'd have to break away anyhow if I use it. So sidestep Namor. Forgot to say if I was going to change... Uh, uh, good old Taskmaster's click, so he'll end up staying on that one. He has double action token, so it's not like he was going to do much. Uh, I think I want to sidestep Namor. I think just one back is fine. Yeah, we'll go one back into the water. He is going to single power action bring out another Atlantean. And we're going to do that in this square. Hmm. That Atlantean will use its close combat expert. So it's a 10 attack because of Namor. It'll use its close combat expert all into attack against Leatherhead. I don't think I need to do okay. a whole lot of damage to him. Huh? I've done a lot. Is that click 7? Yeah. So yeah. we'll be a 12 for 2. Ooh. This is probably going to be all she wrote for Leatherhead unless... We get a Cosmic Justice crit miss. No, okay. That'll be it for one leathery boy. All right. Gators. Let's see. Now we've got Splinter, who's got super senses. We also have a rat and Baxter Stockman. Sadly, I can't target my own character uh, with Punisher and Energy Explosion. It's a bit sad on that front. Yeah. Um... We could just see if we could wipe Splinter, although if the Super Senses kind of sucks. Energy Explosion would probably take out Atlantean Warrior. Well, it definitely would. It would also probably take out the Rat. Uh, I could get... I can't really get anywhere with running shot on him. Uh, let's... Let's just turn Frank Castle into a cannon. So we will perplex up damage with Yellow Jacket and perplex up damage with Taskmaster. So he's a 10 for 5. And then he does still have the traded empty the clip. So he's going to target. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think moving's going to help me too much. So yeah, he's just going to stay right where he is and take a power action to shoot at splinter and i'll get to roll three dice so it'll be a 10 into a 17 for potentially five damage okay ah go. Yeah, we'll have to go with the five and the Let's six see. on that one you're Sadly, gonna take that one if and i can combine one. them all well, Splinter, uh, Splinter's got Super Senses. Uh, we'll see. We can. We really need a Super Senses rollout. PPS oh. hasn't given us one in a while. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Yeah, that's what we need. I that really wanted to get right my... There. It's good stuff. I really wanted to use my... Uh, what is it? Uh, my Minions of Doom team ability really to heal. to annihilate my rat like that. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 sir. I don't think so. Let's see. No, no, no. Them. Not in my house. That. Used my perplexes. I'll sidestep yellow jacket. I wish these rats had poison. Back one. Clear. <laughs> these rats should have poison. That's Taskmaster. And clear the Atlantean warrior in back there. Uh, mm. That is all I can do this turn. Yeah, it goes back to you. Okay. Now. All right, so we are the rats. We make a rat. Me my turn. Plop. We roll leadership from the big rat to the small rat. Get it. Okay. Let's see. We got. Uh, we don't have a lot of actions to do, so we're gonna move up Rat King. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. 
these rats won't have to move so far. Two, three, move action this rat to here. Now that rat's got plus one damage. Wish they got the plus one attack first. It, it'd be better than the plus one damage. Um, we can try to kill that other rat to get that rat. Or we're going to have Baxter Stockman. Sidestep breakaway, shoot the Atlantean. Could actually, uh, well, if we had enhancement, it would be worth it to dual target, I guess, but we don't. So there's nowhere you can go to dual target. You say this was a wall. I'm confused about what we said. I think which we, which of these was walls or not. since I know we said this is not a wall. Since I had already walked through yeah. this area, I think yeah. we decided that this whole water area is, is unwalled. This? Just these water okay. areas are walled. Okay, gotcha. So no walls there. Okay, sure. Yeah. What's a Baxter Stockman? Sidestep to there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he break away? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, I guess we'll try to do it. We'll try to break away. I, got sticky I forgot. I forgot. He's small. Don't don't you dare say that ever again. All right, six. Cool, cool, cool. No references. Not in my tabletop simulator. No, sir. Let's try to double target the Atlanteans here with old Baxter Stockman. Just going to see if we can just kill him. Hmm. 10 to 16. Baxter! Baxter! <laughs> you forgot. Okay. It's another pushing... turn, which means another crit miss for Calder. Crit miss. We're pushing to crit miss. Fine. Fine. It's fine. I'm fine. We still have the damage power, but that is annoying. Very, very, very annoying. It is perplexing at wit. Only to target the same character. Um. So, we can't see anyone but Namor. So, we're going to outwit Namor's sidestep. Hmm. And I mean, we're gonna perplex down Namor's defense. People. No, actually, you know what? We're uh we're gonna outwit your defense. Hand. Now we're gonna outwit your defense and we're gonna perplex down your defense. Then we're gonna sidestep oh. our boy Metalhead. It's still be on a 10 on 18 because you occupy water terrain. But uh we'll see if Metalhead can get a good three damage meat shot off on you. See what happens. Survey says yes. That will hit. For, for three. three nice solid damage so since i already took one from something i will go yeah. one two three off of the power that makes my atlanteans which is sad i never got up to Good. six Good. and i went right over my four damage there's a lot of sad stuff about mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. okay I feel like I made a lot of action tokens, and I feel like they dis they disappeared somewhere. He needs two tokens. He needs one token. He needs one token. All right, so we can still do something with this rat, and then with Splinter, and that'll be five actions. So let's have Splinter just try to sidestep, break away. Well, first we should decide. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, sidestep, break away. We've been pretty hot on these D6 rolls. Oh, we are, once again, still hot. All right, he will sidestep. Uh -oh. I don't want to be next to Taskmaster, actually, so we'll just sidestep mm -hmm. to there. Why not? And let's punch the Punisher. Punching the Punisher. Punishing the Punishing Punisher. Punching the Punisher. As some would say. Uh, Please shut up. Uh, that is uh, an 18, that will hit. a 19, so definitely hits for 2 damage. 18. Ooh, yeah. Whoops. We'll push me, and we'll take the top of this rat. It'll push myself. 1 to Punisher. Making my all right. Oh no, my damage and my defense went down. Now I it is your turn. Got, uh... It is all I have. All right. I actually kind of really want this leadership now. The leadership says a six. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. And uh, Ooh. I won't be using Ooh. that to take an action off of Punisher. No, no, no. I'll be taking one off of my Atlantean warrior. Oh. Okay. Interesting. So, that is not at all what I thought was going to happen. With, okay. Uh, I keep hitting okay. the space bar by accident, which uh, gives me like a aerial Good view. Job. Um, Good job. So with Namor's trait 
and his empower. Yeah, viewers at home appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> With his trait and his uh, current empower on his dial, the Atlantean warrior is a 10 for 3 on its own. Um, Ooh. I'm definitely going to be shifting Taskmaster over to something this turn. I just don't know if it's going to matter. I don't really want to push. Punisher's in a bad spot right now because I'd stop if I move into hindering. Uh, I guess I can I could get up next to a rat, but I can't take a shot. I could try and break away and go in here. One, two, three, four. And take a shot at Rat King. Does Rat King have... Yep, he's got stealth. So really no options with Punisher currently. Um... And that's fine. We will. Let's see. Sidestep. Move. One. Two. That's not a great option, but it is an option. Let's hold off on Hank Pym doing anything. Um, actually, we'll have Hank Pym... Good old yellow jacket. Let's. One, two, three. Man, I do not like my current, my current Man. situations. Man, rats. <laughs> Let's uh. Get shot every time I say rat. Beginning of the in this, turn uh, in this episode. You would have died. We're gonna turn. Hard, I guess. We're going to turn Taskmaster to click four, where he's got Outwit. He's going to take a step back to there so that he can Outwit Splinter's super senses, because fool me once, mm. shame on you. Smart. That is uh, smart. Let's... It's not looking good for you, old boy. Have this Atlantean warrior, who's currently a 10 for three, into a 17... I think I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket. And we're going to... We're going to sidestep Yellow Jacket. We'll go one, two to there. And perplex down Splinter's defense. So that I can... Close combat expert with this Atlantean warrior. Um, for five? Is that going to be worth it? Yeah, let's do that. Well, close combat expert with that Atlantean warrior. It'll be a 10 into a 16 for 5 damage. Ah. Mm. That will hit a 19. That will do it for 5 damage. That's got a... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. That will be all they wrote for the father... Of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I just, I want both of them. I want both. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I only still only took one. That does free up the Punisher. I could try and take out two of your rats. Baxter Stockman also has super senses. Rats. But only a 16. Let's charge my other Atlantean warrior before I do anything else. We're going to charge him one two and swing on baxter stockman mm. so he is only a 10 for three so i'm getting the empower okay. but not the close combat experience uh, uh, crit miss it's only fair a nine. bullshit it's the second nine in a row Consensus. bullshit this is i mean excuse me this is not fair it's not right Think Being skirted in this game. One, two, pretty three. Pretty skewed in your favor. Ah! Good, good. Atlantean Warriors attack. Uh, so that's two, three for Taskmaster moving. You still have rat. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, I don't think mm. it's worth it just to take out two rats with Punisher. So I will clear the Punisher and... I will clear the Namor. 
and then Taskmaster will go back to click one. Tasks masked. All right, so you to turn. Guess what? I made rats. How many Rat would you then have move been up to at this point? I mean, they keep dying though, so a lot. I've made quite a few rats, yeah, but say, I've never I once had like four on the board at the same time. So. Made a decent amount. Have that rat, have that rat try to sidestep, sidestep breakaway, just so we can go forward. Aha, hmm. uh -huh. yes, nice. It quite literally just wants to be there. So, But it might as well move the full. Well, you'd stop next to Penelope. No, because the other rat has to stop there. Yeah. Yeah, stop. So, yeah, let's just go there. All right. And uh, so that's that rat. So that's one action. This rat is up to a whole two damage. Doesn't really do anything. Um, I think some rat on rat violence. I keep forgetting your bystanders are not rats. They're Atlanteans. <laughs> um, it's I'm very specious of rat you to call my here. Atlanteans. They're a proud race. Uh, it is. They're it fishmen. Is, it is. It is, sure. Uh, well, we, we might as well move this guy here, throw away attack, trying to kill that Atlantean. All right. We need a huge number. Something high. I see a two. Five. So. All right. Wasted our, used up our five. That's that rat. Uh, let's have the other rat also do a throwaway attack on that first Atlantean, one closer to me. Doesn't really matter. Aha, yes, there's our three. Getting our awful attack rolls out of the way. Tabletop simulator, it seems. Yeah. And then Bring we in a trouble step. this turn. <laughs> uh, frick, it's looking that way. Sidestep metalhead to there. And then we're going to shoot Yellow Jacket. Hmm. 10 to a 7. And this is our good roll. That was a uh, much better roll. Uh, so the key is gosh. to color them this ugly, like, gosh. teal color. I don't know why I picked this color for Civil War, but uh, that's the real key. Um, I guess we clear the Rat King. What a turn. I didn't expect to hit with the rat attacks. I literally just wanted to hit with I'm going to delete these dice. I'm going to make new ones. Rat attacks. Going to make these... Uh, going to make these rat colored. So, I don't know, gray, I guess. Yeah, yeah well, it's <laughs> fake dice. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I thought it was going to happen. Uh, <laughs> attempt leadership with Namor. Maybe I should have put Krang on my team. I don't think it would have uh, mattered, really, with these rolls. Do not get leadership. But he is just um, better. It's very true. He is pretty good. Uh, At the beginning of my turn, sadly... Uh, I'm going to turn Taskmaster to click three, his running shot psychic blast click. Uh, this means that. Oh, baby. I guess Hank Pin will be the first person to try and punch that rat next to us. It has a 15. Darn you. So I only need 15. a six. Beautiful. 15 defense. Which is what Calder's rolled the last two times. Ah. But you're rolling eight, though. You eight for some reason you roll all the way up to an eight wild to so, me that'll be an action for yellow jacket um let's see got five range if i go one two three four can't do that well i can but i don't want to uh, I don't really want to lose my Atlantean bystanders, but I feel like I can take Metalhead out in the next couple turns before he clears or before he does anything again. So we will action to push this bottom. Um, might as well push this top 
Atlanian bystander to uh, close combat expert all into attack. 12 into a 15. Okay. Critness. Critness. Oh, oh Critness. all right. Wiped all my rats. There are no rats on the board now. Very sad day. That will... I don't have a cool power action to make two rats. Kill that guy. I gotta make one little one, hey, I don't, one little I don't giant rat at a time. Anymore. I got I lost that. You got uh, one. Well yeah, but I don't have the ability to Also Namor is capable of like attacking though. Yes. I don't know why yes. anyone voted for Rat King. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know why. Not a single vote for Casey Jones, I mean, who I Rat have a King's, costume of. Who Rat King's easy. probably costed me like the most amount of headache this whole game. Uh, oh, for sure, for sure. But I don't think still, the rats have done anything. The, uh, they tied me up enough. It's more of a dice. Like if I would have hit when the rats had like four damage and stuff, and like pretty much almost KO'd Namor in one turn, or maybe could have. Like that'd have been cool. I would have dug that. But that didn't happen, and I was asking for high numbers. But I mean, two crit misses this game, two. Anyways, sorry. I'm gonna quit uh, complaining so we can get through our game. Sidestepped yellow People jacket. Here ever again. He's gonna perplex up attack on everyone he can see, which isn't really gonna make a difference it's because I, I could through. also just it's perplex down that I go metal heads defense, but metal uh, heads defense. Yeah. yeah, we'll perplex up everyone's attack, which is just everyone on my team. <laughs> I'm gonna running shot with Taskmaster four squares and use psychic blast. Uh, it's gonna be all zero for metal. So it's an oh, eleven boy. into an eighteen. Ten to a seventeen. I mean, yeah, right. Eleven to an eighteen is what you said you were doing. But I don't know why. I Same kind of three. difference here. Um, it nice, still nice, even nice. With all three. I'll, I'll. Now this is a Punisher roll right there. That's hilarious. Yeah, you had rolled that I one time. To just roll two. So I'll just roll two this time. To make it illegal. No, 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 no. <laughs> First roll's fine. I'll allow it. I'll okay. allow it. But did you guys see that? Did it's you see generous. that though? So... For the split second, it gave Simeon two crit hits this match. <laughs> it gave Simeon two crit hits. Uh, that'll push Taskmaster to click four. He'll outwit Metalhead's defense. Okay, uh, whatever. All right. I still have one of those dice with Punisher. What we're going to do instead, though, is Namor can run four. One, two, three, four. Actually, it can go five. Yeah, we'll charge to here and attack with Namor. It'll be a 12 on the 18, so I need a six. I can't believe I was rolling so good with just two oh, dice, all right. and then I roll three, and I only roll a five with three dice. Two, so that'll do three, three damage to Metalhead. Uh, so I got uh, rid of his impervious, but he does have invulnerability that. now. That's, That's nice. rough. Yeah. Do I gamble and think that he's only got that for one click? Yes, I will make that gamble. So I'm going to charge with this Atlantean warrior. One two, three, pushing him. Uh, I don't remember if he was in the perplex range or not. I think everyone on my team was. So he's an 11 for three damage right now. So he needs... Six. Yeah, he needs a six to hit as well. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Smack all my stuff. All tokens. right, that'll hit for one. It deals metal. <laughs> You're not wrong. It deals metalhead one. Ah, yes, toughness. Good, good. I definitely can mm. capitalize yes, on this. No. Uh, that was an action for. Namor. That was the second action on Taskmaster. Um, did I kill my other Atlantean Pog last turn, or was that this turn? Yeah. That was you this turn? Kill? I thought you killed last turn. Okay, so I that's it was three actions turn. then. Um, either way, I've got five actions. So last action 
is the only one that I can really do, and that's... We will running shot with Punisher to here, and we will remove my last ammo token to roll three dice in the hopes that I can roll two sixes between three dice. It's hmm. kind of greedy. I did get two fives, though. So All right. it'll hit and deal one damage. And I'll knock you back one square. Yes, good. Take your actions with you. Um, no one okay. clears. Taskmaster does go back to click one. But everybody did something this turn. And I'll give Punisher an action token. Punisher could have been healing this whole time had I been just like shooting your rats with him. And using the Doom Team ability. But yeah. Kind of couldn't really, didn't want to. I don't know. I'm yeah, bad yeah okay. This. I make a rat. I clear metalhead and here you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, the only character I have that has Indom is good old Namor. Um, what's metalhead got? Toughness. Seventeen toughness. Uh, let's. Sidestep, yellow jacket to here. Let's perplex up attack on everyone that he can see. Um, no, sidestep him here and do that. So that'll be everyone. And then good old Taskmaster will perplex up Frank's damage. So he's got an 11 for 3. And he's going to shoot at Metalhead. Pushing to shoot at Metalhead. Uh, 17. I will hit you, just barely. It's a push for okay. Frank. But I get ammo. So I'm back back on the board and with heal the ammo tokens. Oh, and I heal somebody. Yeah, so you're so exactly where you are. And then I hear yeah, so you're exactly better. where you are. Um, Namor can go one, two, three, four, five. I can get to the rat. I can't get to the rat king. So we'll go ahead and have Namor do that. He'll get to the rat with his 12 attack into your 15. Mm. 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 This is where that crit miss finally happens for Simeon. Swamp Boy versus Sewer Boy. Ah, Swamp Boy. Ah, uh, nope. That's, one last there's a dead rat. Sewer Boy. Um, yep, have to clear and clear. And then it goes back to your turn. That king makes a rat. Your turn. I should have foreseen this, yet I did not. Mm. One, two, three, four. I cannot see anybody. We will... Does Taskmaster have any tricks? Four squares with charge. One, two, three, four won't be able to run in shot either so it looks like we will just sidestep yellow jacket uh, let's let's perplex up defense first so it'll be on taskmaster and uh, Frank castle will sidestep yellow jacket then move him to there we will Walk Taskmaster one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight squares to there. He will perplex up Namor's defense, and then Namor and Punisher will both clear. You will um, not perplex a, up Namor's there. defense, okay. it will cross the line with the rat. He will perplex his own defense. <laughs> You're darn right you will, because that will cross 
No line. Good job. All right. You've Beginning crossed turn, I make a rat. You cross the rat, you get the bat. Does that even have range? No, of course he doesn't. All right. This rat. Does Namor have toughness? Yes. All right, then yes. Then the first rat will do a rat punch. It is an eight for two. Ear the rats. We stalk at night. We pray at night. That, that will hit in damage. 18 defense. For two Knocking damage. Down to 10 attack. Good rat. Good rat. Next rat will sidestep. One. Ah, fudge. Okay, wait. Didn't think about that. Never mind. Stop. Ah. One. No. Damn it. All right. So the next <laughs> rat will sidestep here, I guess. I mean, you can. And it will punch. Into the rendering, but yeah. Well, no. Uh, well, actually, yeah. Wait. Do they ignore? I can't finish my sidestep though. If they don't ignore it. Yeah. If I could, if I could, I would. But no. So it'll sidestep there. It'll punch. It'll punch Taskmaster. Eight for two. You can have a crit hit. I'm sure. That is not oh, close. Three. Though. Whatever. Does that even break ten? Is that? Uh, it it's an 11. Yeah. And it's your turn. And it's your turn. Defense. Hurry and take your turn, Simeon. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, You've five. You've been playing for two hours. Five squares with running shot. Uh, By the rules of Rat King, we're not going to be done anytime soon. Let's... What does Rat King have for defense? 17... Yeah, I don't like that. That's fine. Namor can take eight damage. What we are going to do is sidestep this guy. One, two, out of hindering. Uh, that's gonna cross. Clog, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna cross the thing. Speak words. It's crossing the blocking. It hurts. Uh, so. It hurts. Yellow Jacket's gonna sidestep. He has to make a move action to get out of hindering fully, though. So that he can perplex up Punisher's speed. So that Punisher can go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then an additional 1. And then from that square, I can shoot 5 squares away. 1, 2, 3. So yeah, I'll be able to target that rat, which is what I want to do. Uh, he's gonna burn an ammo token. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, just for the heck of it, no. No, if I hit one rat, I'm going to hit, yeah. So, uh, he'll running shot there, rolling three dice, burning his last ammo token. And it'll be for an energy explosion. I think that's legal. Uh, targets one or more characters with a range attack. It is a range attack. It is one or more characters. And you remove one or more ammo tokens. So yeah, three dice, ten attack into things to energy explode them all. Mm. Well, I have a four and a three, so I'll remove the one, and okay. that'll be a. You will kill my rats. That'll hit uh, Rat King as well potentially. Uh. I don't remember how Doom Team ability works. Is it once per turn? Ah, uh, he survives. It will not hit the Rat King. Uh, it also hits Namor, so Namor will take one. Yes. Good, 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 good. Um, good, good. Do I heal for that? I do get an ammo for that. Uh, Punisher KO is an opposing character, so I KO'd two. Yeah, if it's by standard, you get it. Do I heal two, though, or do I only heal one? I, I don't know. I'm going to heal one. I'm going to only let you heal one, because you're going to win this game anyway. Yes. <laughs> uh, man. Even if it's wrong, you were at home. Even if it's wrong, this is what I want to have happen. I will perplex up Namor's defense with Taskmaster. And... 
If you guys get all the way to the end of this video, say type in weird rats in the comments just to just show that you got this far into this awful, awful game. Uh, it may not even I don't, feel I don't want to, it even I don't long. have any other actions, so Namor is going to regen. <sighs> okay. For one. So, so for the, the one damage I, I took. Good. 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 Yeah. No, no. Um, you there. And yeah, Taskmaster is the only one that clears, so that is my uh, turn. Your turn, rats, rats. We are the rats. I make a rat here. The rebel side step here. Can't do anything. Uh, maybe we'll just leave it there then. It's your go. Okay. The rat does not have stealth so let's yeah we'll just uh do we have a line of fire here yes we will perplex up frank's attack he will running shot one two three four Shooting at the rat with energy explosion, removing one of his ammo tokens. Kind of digging these ammo tokens. He's a real weak character, but like in this limited format, where's my other dice? I'll make I have another dice. I only have two. No, no, no. Somebody got rid of one. There. Deal damage to the rat king, or don't do anything. Energy end of this. Explosion. End my my suffering. Uh, I'll take the two uh, fives. It's... Right, yes. Rat will go. Rat King will say... That is obviously not a roll. Yikes. I plop it down on the six. That is a five. Huzzah. Rat King is Rat King. You cannot hurt the Rat King. Okay. You'll take a push. Lose... You'll heal. Yeah, I, I take a push. I heal. I will lose a ammo token, but then I get one back. And uh, I think Namor's got a charge. So, oh wait, that also hit Namor. So he loses charge. Um, I will sidestep Namor and attempt to punch you with him. Let's see, I'll sidestep Yellow Jacket too. Not that it matters. Can't see anybody. So it is a nine for two into a 17. You need a crit hit. Well, you need an eight. That will hit. A 10, of course you do. Come on, Rat King. Come on, Rat King. God. Yes, Rat King. All right. An absurd, obscene amount of rollouts from the Rat King here. Clearing Yellow Jacket. Calder does have a chance. It's not a good chance. Rat King makes a rat. But the rat will punch Namor. Uh, it is an 8 to a 16. We need an 8 for the rat to kill Namor. That'll miss Holy shite, one. you gotta be kidding me. All right, we give, yes, we give a token to the rat. The rat king will finally make an attack in this entire game. The rat king will try to punch Namor. He needs a 6. We don't roll a 6. I will concede. I will not concede, but... Uh, <clears throat> All right, cool. We will kill Namor with the rat king. It is Simeon's turn. Hmm. Let's rats, rats, we are the rats. We're stocking out your prey tonight. We are the rats. All right. Sidestep yellow jacket. Uh first. No, we're gonna we're gonna do the whole uh, taskmaster thing first. We're gonna turn him into his well, of course you're gonna you gotta make sure you, uh... you gotta make sure you go to the right clicks and let's turn him onto his charge click. So that's the second one over. He'll charge to here. That seems okay. fair. Um, 10 into the 17. Yes. Need a 7. Ah, a 4. Good, 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 good. I will good, sidestep good. Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket will perplex up his own attack, I believe. Yeah, Yellow Jacket's attack goes up to a 10. He needs a 7 as well. Okay. Oh, oh. 
that will hit. Kidding me, all right. For two. For two, I say. For two, I say. For none, I say. All right. Uh, Rat King! These rollouts are wow. kind of silly. The amount of uh, super sense Rat King is made is insane. I will clear the, the Punisher and go back to this click with uh, Taskmaster. Click one. In your turn, I make a rat. This rat will now punch a Taskmaster, I guess. Mm. It is an 8 for 2 on his uh, 17. We need a 9. <sighs> Whatever. I don't want to push the rats, so we are going to take a token off of rat. And take a token off of the rat king. It's your turn. Hmm. I have a chance to end it with a, a 11. 11 attack. Blurry and by that, I mean sidestep breakaway. Oh. <laughs> I can go there. Brat. Wasn't really a roll. Hmm. That was also not a roll. Physics. It feels like there's butter in the air. I can't make it fly. Thank you. Jeez. All right. Five. Goodness gracious. Other. I'll just go back a space and you'd your Simeon. Okay. Uh, I do have ammo tokens available. Mm -hmm. It's really, probably, it's really probably worse, but uh... I think we'll try that first. No, I have to switch. As a last ditch effort, just in case, I'm putting putting Taskmaster on his last click. Now, if I give him an action token on his last click, he does not get to heal. He will just die. But this is a last ditch effort in case Calder keeps hitting super senses. So, uh, we will sidestep Yellow. Oh, try and break away Yellow Jacket so that he can sidestep. Hmm. Hmm. Five. He will move. Okay. Let's see. One, two to there so that he can see both. He will perplex up attack on Taskmaster and on Frank Castle. And then Castle is going to running shot, uh, I guess, here. Mm. No, I can't see anybody there. Fudge. Because there's a. Uh... I would have had to... Okay. I'll sidestep Yellow Jacket, and then I'll give him a move action to go back one square. Or because he has willpower. Frank Crassel crit miss this running shot. Can he? I sure He's hope he can. Running shot to here. Targeting this uh, giant rat with energy explosion using an ammo token. So he is an 11. Count a 16. To he rolled three ones. And also potentially, potentially, it's happened sort of before. Ah, I will pick the fours. Okay. So that'll hit 19s. Rat. Rat. I should have left that rat up there so you would have hit Taskmaster too. I didn't think about that until I... Uh, super Tenses on the Rat King. Rat King can't fail Super Tenses, so it's a five. Ah, okay. One, two. Ooh, Rat King's got prob. Toughness prob. Kind of cool. Kind of mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I'm liking my chances, so I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to flurry blades since you don't have a rollout yes. anymore. Uh, also, yes. castle heals. So he heals and takes one. He Nothing happens. Yeah. Um, so we will flurry blades. With the master mm. of all tasks, the ten, task master. Ten to a sixteen. Now he's an eleven. I perplexed that up. Yeah. No, it's, shut up, Simeon. Show you Cool. Why do you keep rolling on my side of the table like that? Because I'm. I will prob that. Crowding the table. It's the rat king. Mm, please come in on a two. Fudge. All right. It froze on a two. That's for sure. Uh, that'll hit. <laughs> 
I will deal more than one at least. Come on, a one, 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 three. Okay, one, two. Budge. All right, you have to crit miss this. All right. I really want to rat trap. I really want to rat trap so bad. That will not crit miss. And that is it all for Thursday Throwdown this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for sticking tuned and watching the video. As always, I'm your host, Calder Nest, joined by my co-host, Simeon Bruce. Next week, we are going to build, uh, I'll be building from Superior Foes. No. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Superior Foes of Spider-Man. And Simeon will build from Uncanny X-Men. Go ahead and vote for whatever figures you want to from those sets. As always, happy trails.